I think it's important for teachers to evaluate their teaching strategies from my perspective, speaking now you know, as somebody who has taught for many years, there's an aspect of saying, well, how can I do this better? What led me to develop the SAMR model was some work I did back in the mid-80s. I was a graduate student at Harvard at that point and working on rethinking aspects of the undergraduate introductory science curriculum. And at that point, I could see that some of the tools we had for digital storytelling and so on could really make a change, but it wasn't clear that this was anything intrinsic to a given tool and rather a question of different types of practice associated with this. So that's what triggered the desire to research the topic and eventually led to the SAMR model. It's very important for people to feel comfortable with the tools to evolve their practice. So it's just fine for people to say, look, I'm going to start doing what I already do at the substitution to augmentation levels, incorporate the tools, enhance my current practice, and when I'm comfortable with that, move on to incorporating elements at modification to redefinition. That's a perfectly valid approach. In fact, to be honest with you, I think it's the approach that would work for most teachers. There are many things that work just fine at substitution to augmentation levels. For instance, assume I'm teaching a course on poetry. It's fine if I decide as an educator that I'm going to create, say, an ebook that incorporates the poems, some readings of the poems, maybe some uh, critical elements to allow the students to read different interpretations and so on, which would take it roughly to you know, a, a, an augmentation level. But it's not necessary to say, well, now what do I do with this book so that the very act of reading the poems is at the mod a modification to redefinition levels. You know, that's just fine. You can say, well, what else in my practice of teaching literature am I going to incorporate that is at the modification to redefinition levels? The difference between augmentation and modification is whether you're essentially reproducing what you were doing before in your practice or you're significantly modifying it but keeping the heart of the matter. So let me give you an example. Suppose that I'm teaching geography. Okay? If I'm using maps, digital maps, to teach geography and I say to students, well, I want you to create maps of, let's say you're studying Egypt. I want you to create maps of Egypt that outline archaeological sites that you're interested in and that also outline areas that were important agriculturally. And you start to see, well, uh, do these in two different layers so you can see correlations between the two of them, etc. Link the archaeological sites to resources on the sites. All of that is quite wonderful. Now, suppose that you're saying, okay, I'm using digital maps, but now I'm not just going to ask the students to replicate what I would have done with traditional paper maps. Instead, I'm going to say, I still want them creating maps because it's important for them to develop the understanding of geography. But I'm going to ask them to create the maps in such a way that they're interacting with each other so that they create the digital maps in shared sites and they use them as gateways to each other's knowledge. So now one student is very interested in the archaeology aspect that student focuses on things like where were the temples. Uh, another student is very interested in commerce. So they focus on where were the trading ports and they create their maps. You have them engaging in a deeper conversation where you're using the digital maps as a gateway for a social practice of exploration. In effect, you're asking your students to become geographers and use the maps to talk with each other, integrate each other's discoveries, build a practice that is mediated by the social use of the tools in a networked environment. That would take you up to modification because while you still have some of the heart of the matter, make sure the students understand these concepts by developing maps about them. You've significantly modified it by changing it from something they would do individually to something they would do socially, where in effect they're acting as peer mentors. Good use of the technology at the modification to redefinition levels allows students to engage in exploration of areas that they might not have otherwise. Let me give you an example from some of my own practice. 
uh, I have a background as a chemist, and in particular, one of the fascinating things that we can do with the technology is we can bring students into how chemists think at a much deeper level, even at the beginning of their studies than we otherwise could, because we have tools for visualizing molecules. We have tools for simulating and visualizing interactions, reactions between molecules. And we have the tools for students to say, well, can I take some experimental data? And not just play with a couple of toy experiments, but actually do some real analysis based upon what I've understood. One of the things I see happening in classrooms that are very successful at incorporating tools at the modification of the definition level is I see students taking charge of the modification. Those are classrooms where the students aren't just waiting for something to happen. They're the classrooms where students say, oh wait, we've been doing this, but I also want to do this other thing, and I can see a better way of doing that. And there's a certain excitement, a certain ownership of the learning. There's a certain joy in figuring out, gee, I, I could do this in a different way and bring something different or new to my students. And I think keeping teaching practice as something enjoyable, lively, you know, the reason that uh, so many teachers become teachers in the first place, keeping the passion alive is so again, uh, a continual re-examination of practice allows me as a teacher to make the best possible use of the technology to accomplish my goal.